Good old ninja chilling by the door. Good evening, CD Rogan. How are you, my friend? I flipped this one up right here because that is a bicentennial ender. It's a proof. Michelle is Bill. Hello, how are you? Hunter, hello, how are you? It's okay. I mean, I, I haven't really done anything today. I, um... I mean, I went to the banks, dropped off coins, got coins. Coin Silver, hello, how are you? Welcome. Mike Wolf is in the house. How you doing, Mike Wolf? Yeah, I haven't really done much of anything. I've been watching stuff on the TV. Look at this. Oh my gosh, guys. It is so huge compared to the other one. The other one is like a little baby TV. Went from a 29 inch to a 55 inch. But everything is good. Wedding in Texas. Yeah, well, <laughs> the heat in Texas will do that to you. All right, so uh, I got the I got the same TV as uh, Irene. She paid uh, she paid like almost six hundred dollars for her TV, and I got mine for two hundred dollars. Josh P, what is good? Josh P, you haven't been here in a long, long time. You had to take uh, Bill to his doctor's appointment today. Kayla, welcome. How are you? Well, let, me, uh, let me make sure that... Yeah, Josh P, where have you been hiding? I haven't seen you in forever. LAP Coins is in the house. All right. 
it doesn't look like the, the bot is working so let me uh, refresh it That should do the trick. Jimmy, hello, how are you? Welcome. Let's see. All right. John, uh, the bot should be working now. No, it's not Double Rolls Friday. All right, so uh, guys, we have an ender right here. It's going to be a bicentennial proof. And it's going to be on row nine. We have two 90% stickers in play, three 40% stickers in play. If you do not get a sticker, then you will get a silver dime. Um, you a silver stacker? Hello, how are you? Now, $25 will get you five rolls opened by me on your behalf. You get to keep the foreign silver proofs and IFCs that are in the rolls. You also get to choose one of my uh, gifts to take home with you. You could choose a proof or a mint set, 1971 to 2006, a blue or brown Ike, or you could take a spin on the silver wheel. On the silver wheel, there is a, a Benji, a Walker, uh, there is a some quarters and some half dollars, 40% uh, half dollars. Now, if you do get a 40 percenter, you do get a complimentary spin, seeing how the 40 percenter is the booby prize. Edwin Vasquez, hello, how are you? All right, and uh, so today, we're starting off, we have this Ender. It is a 1976. Bicentennial proof. It is. We got the building on the back. You see how nice it looks. The chairman is in the house. What? It's the chairman, you know, the guy who sits in the chair all the time. We have 14 people watching, only nine likes. That means uh, five of you are asleep at the wheel. I know, I haven't seen Donald Trump in a long time. So, you guys haven't been here in a, while, in a cool long while, so here is how it goes now. Um, I do have a bot that, keep track, that keeps track of everything, and don't worry, I put
pulled the teeth out of the bat, out of the bot, so its bite isn't bad at all. Most of the stuff you can get away with. Cursing links you cannot. Um, let's see, the bot is um, the bot. It's more of a it's more of a fun aid for you guys. Uh, you can fire RPGs at it, slap it with a big, uh, with a, a fish, with the fish slap. And it's the, the bot, I redesigned it so it's helpful, helpful for everybody. If you need an email address or my phone number or a shipping address, just type the command exclamation point and whatever you need it to do, whether it's an e email, a phone number, or an address, just exclamation point address, exclamation point phone, uh, exclamation point email, and the bot will make the command. The bot also helps me with uh, the silver certificate giveaways and giving away free rolls and even giving away free points as well. Uh, for every five minutes that you are in the stream, you will get one coin. You get a bonus coin when you chat during that uh, five minute period. Save those coins because we have a loyalty program. The way the loyalty program works is Two hundred fifty coins. You could trade it for uh, two rolls opened by me on your behalf. Five hundred coins. You get a forty percent silver. A uh, thousand coins. It's a ninety percent silver Kennedy. Twelve fifty. You get uh, Benji, and fifteen hundred coins is a walking liberty. See who the top coin earners are. Hey Larry, I take that proof. All right, go ahead and hit that. Uh, let's throw a link up there for you. So, top 10 coin owners, uh, we'll skip me because I'll always be on top. Dizzy Giraffes, second with 1428. George Kimball, 1426. Michelle Loves Bill, 1187. US Silver Stacker, 1028. Coin World UK, 986. CD Rogan, 964. Breezy, 808. Snake Man 686 and Metal Detecting North Carolina 617. You don't need to donate to get those coins. All you have to do is be here and participate. They add up super fast. But if you want extra coins, I do match your donations uh, with coins as well. Did you put coins on mine, Larry, for last night? I sure did. So, we are waiting for Mr. Edwin. John Francis, welcome. How you do? Went on. You didn't donate yesterday, the day before yesterday. 
I did get you though. I sure did. donation coming from Mr. Edwin Vasquez. Everybody give it up for Edwin Vasquez, please. All right. Edwin, what's your other role? gifts are going to be as well. Number four, got it. sticker no sticker all right this is the one that has the proof on it and this one right here we have let me say it was yellow yellow is the 90 percenter orange is going to be the 40 percenter all right so Edwin, you got the 90. Alright, so 190, 140. Or, I'm sorry, 190 and one dime. Because the other one didn't have a sticker. Okay, 190, one dime. And we're going to do two spins for you. So let me uh, move this real quick okay spin number one round and round we go where it stops nobody knows it's a quarter second spin we have a walker waka 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 alright so a quarter 90% quarter and a walking liberty this quarter is a 1960 Denver and the Walker the Walker is a 1934S 1934S Okay, so Edwin, do you want to do the ender first or last? Silver Stacker is in the house. Edwin, we doing this first or last? I'm doing it now. So that is first. Alrighty. Alright, here we 
we go. It's a beauty. Let me take, I have to take a little gander at it. Whew. All right. Uh, yeah, it's really nice. I will take the microfiber cloth and get, take the fingerprints off of it. That one is nice. Not bad for, what is it, 40, 44 years of circulation. And I'll, I'll flip it for you as well. Remember guys, when you put staples in your flips, take a pair of pliers, smash down the backs of it. That way it doesn't drag against the other coins and scratch them up. Alright, let's see what we got. We have 2010 Denver NIFC. Let me fix the camera. For 33 years, circulation. It's a pretty great shape. Um, actually, it's 76. Um, that's uh, 44 years. Because I'm 49. In 76, I was uh, 5 years old. So, yeah, it's... 44 years of circuit. Yeah, bicentennial. Alright, let's see what else we have. Can we find some silver? Hmm. Oh, last night's box only had one silver in it. It was, uh, you know how I had the two boxes here and here? It was in the, the top box over here towards the middle. And these boxes are different. Uh, the boxes I have been getting have been um, Loomis. The, this is actually uh, NF String and Sons.
time for a little bit of edumacation, guys. We are at 15 likes, 10 more, and we are going to give away that silver certificate, guys. So hit that like button. Number 106. Oh, and on this side it's 2047. <laughs> well, I mean, it it, actually, it does not make any sense at all because um, you mark the you mark the coins like that. When they go back to get re-rolled, they go in a big hopper. So if that copper has silver in it, it doesn't mean anything. To mark the coins. Guess who's here, everybody? Baby Shark is in the house. Uh, Silver Shark, how is your sister doing? there. 
So let me uh, go ahead and add your coins. And we'll do a recap of what you got. So, here is the recap. Um, out of your rolls, you got the 90%, a half, and the other one is a dime. All right, for your wheel spins. You got a quarter and a walker. And then what came out of the rolls, you had the 2010 NIFC and the proof ender. So congratulations. Yeah, uh, I've added your points. You are up to 200 points now. And uh, let me get your... Your raffle tickets. Your waffle tickets. So, what did Silver Shark say about her sister? She is doing better, and he's going to go see her. To, you got to go see her today, and she's doing better. That is awesome. This is Breezy's. What did you find so far? We found a Bicentennial Proof and a 2010 NIFC.
Where's John Francis at? Oh, John Francis right here. Okay. Edwin. Let me get the um, the item for the jackpot giveaway. All right, so today's jackpot giveaway, we're going to start it off with 1927 S. This is in uh, uh, it's a VG condition coin. Street value approximately eighteen dollars. Mm -hmm. There we go, guys. This is a jackpot giveaway item. This is what we're starting off with. We hit a hundred dollars. Hundred dollars in donations. We will add silver round to it. All right. We still have one ninety percent sticker and three forty percent stickers in play. And also, what came out of the rules last night as well, guys, was this uh, Jim Dunlop guitar pick. Hey Larry, I just wanted to say thank you for the two wheat cents. I just received them. Awesome. Glad you liked them. I didn't think you were ever going to get anything from me. You kept giving away all your winnings to everybody. And I was like, dang. Yeah, I, I guess he doesn't want me to know where he lives. Doesn't want a stripper pole, I guess. <laughs> Finally got you your stripper pole. And you love the stickers, too. Very cool. Yes, I threw in a sticker and a business card.
1915 Morgan. C.D. Rogan they did not make uh, Morgan Dollars uh, last year they made Morgan Dollars was 1904 then they started back up in 1921. For that one year, they made Morgan Dollars 1921. Uh, then they immediately switched over to uh, Peace Dollars. Peace Dollars started in 1921 and went all the way up until 1935 when they stopped seeing it. I don't have any either, but these are from my family tree okay well that's that's the thing um, they didn't make Morgan dollars uh, from 19 yeah they don't have them on eBay they're fake coins All right? because I'm telling you I'm looking at the red book right now and uh, it goes 1904 1904 D 1921, 1921D, 1921S. They did not make uh, Morgan dollars for the 16 years. I want. I actually want to see this on eBay. So, I'm gonna. Uh, I'm gonna type them in. 1909. Morgan. Dollar. on eBay and the other one is in, you said 1914 Let me make sure you said 14 uh, 1915 I'm sorry 
Okay. 15 Morgan Dollar search. Uh, no. Now there is a New Orleans Morgan Silver Dollar collection set and it is item number 1915 but it's not a 1915 uh, that lot 1915 it, ref uh, it refers to uh, a skew number that's like on PCGS when you go look for it uh, you could type in the SKU number uh, and it'll bring up that particular coin but that's not actually the year vintage Whitman Morgan half dollar Liberty folder a very rare folder it's not a very rare folder. <laughs> this guy's got this folder on sale for $19.95 plus $2.87 shipping and handling. <laughs> oh, how funny. It's not rare. I got a whole stack of them right where my feet are. <laughs> He's got, there's another one that's uh, $6.99 plus $4.90 shipping and handling. Wow, $12.95, $5 shipping and handling, $9.95, wow. Dang, I should probably, I should put my uh, folders on uh, eBay. See if I can find some suckers to buy my folders for 20 bucks. <laughs> How funny. Michigan Mud Digger, how are you? Okay, half dollars is what you meant. All right. Now, half dollars I could work on. Half dollars I could do that. Where's my little paper? All right. Uh, okay, so let me pull this up. Half dollars. Let me see about what kind of price we're looking at because these are going to be uh, these are going to be barbers. Okay, so um, things are doing good in Midland, Michigan. That's good to hear. All right, yeah, the barbers. So a 1915, a 1915 um, Philadelphia in G4. That's you know like. Uh, that's like, I don't know, it's, it's pretty tore up. G4 is the lowest grade. That is $85. But the D and the S are both $16 in G4 condition. Um, I need to know what kind of condition uh, you would like. Uh, but, let's see what this is, 1909. Nothing special about the 1909. They're all in pretty much the same uh, price in G4 condition. So, um, real quick, okay, VG8. All right, so, for I'm assuming that your mom is going to be 1915, correct? So, in VG condition, the 1915... 
Philadelphia is $135. The D and the S are $17 each. The 1909, uh, the Philadelphia and the San Francisco are $17 a piece. And the 1909D is going to be DRS is fine. Right. It is the same in my book. Okay. All right. So uh, I will look for the 1909. Um, I'll look for the 1909 either. P or S, which is seventeen dollars. Then for the nineteen fifteen, I'll do the D or the S, which is also seventeen. So all, all the coins um, that I'm actually looking, both coins, both grades, is going to be seventeen dollars, and that's what I'll I'll try and find them for you. So we have one 90% sticker and three 40% stickers still in play. Um, we have already found a proof and uh, a 2010 NIFC. And uh, what you guys need to know about the 2010, that was uh, actually a low vintage year as well. 18 likes. So. Okay, so, hey guys, I want to talk to you for a second. All right, so, um, I just, just want to be honest with you guys and let you know, you know, what's going on and everything. I know that you, you see me day to day and I'm buying this, I'm buying that, and, you know, and uh, I want to let you know that I actually... I have been saving for a while, that way I can upgrade, you know, stuff. But as I'm doing it, I'm doing it in like little phases, and I'm 
actually doing it in a way where I'm saving money because I've already got it in my head how much I want to spend on particular items. And if I could get them at a deal, which I have been, then that money that I save is more money that I have to upgrade more stuff. Okay. Um, I only have just a, a few small, small things to do. Like I need just like uh, one or two. I think it's going to be two. Uh, like one or two, maybe two pictures that I need. Just two. Well, maybe three. Okay, maybe three. <laughs> so three more pictures, and I can get those, you know, fairly, you know, fairly cheap and everything like that. I just have to, I just have to look and find the best possible deals I can. And yes, I did get the TV. My budget that I was going to spend on the TV was three hundred and fifty dollars. I picked it up yesterday for two hundred dollars. Right. And I was like, two hundred dollars? Are you kidding me? And then, because I did it all myself, it only cost me ten dollars in gas. So two hundred ten dollars. That gives me an extra one hundred forty dollars to complete some other stuff. Well, I really don't have much to complete, so it is all going into the pool for the couch. That's the last major piece that I have to buy is the couches. It's going to be $1,800. I am at, I think, 600 now. So. All right. so, so yeah, so I've still got a ways to go as far as saving for the couches. Um, who knows? Maybe the government will throw everybody another stimulus check in June. <laughs> If that's the case, I'll just use the stimulus check and get it. Um, but um, I don't ever want people to think that, oh, oh, you know, this guy's rich and he's got all this money and everything. No, it's, it's something that I've been working on for a while. Um, so... Love some pizza. Pizza Hut. They don't deliver to me, though. Uh. Huh. Nevada Coin Hunter Dan. Are you still? Are you still thinking about changing your name? Oh boy, do I need some stimulation. Don't be talking about pizza. Are you going to make me go and get some pizza today? Yeah, guys, I have a, I have a certain level of money that I want to uh, stay at. Oh, boy, thank you, but um, this is actually purple. White shirt, purple tie. I only have three ties, guys. My ties still haven't made it from China. I have, um, I have my purple tie that goes with my light purple shirt that everybody thinks is pink, but it's not. Um, I have my gray tie. Um, you've all seen it goes with my gray shirt, but I sometimes wear it with uh, black or the white. And then, 
Yeah, it looks black. <laughs> Um, and then I have, what was the other color? Oh, the blue that goes with my blue shirt. And I only have the three ties. I gotta try to mix them up. And uh, I wish the ties would hurry up and get here from China. Um, but I don't know. Maybe the stores will open before they even get there and I could just cancel the order and get my money back. George Kimball is in the house. Dan Rogan C. Coin Hunter. Detecting North Carolina. Hello, how are you? So guys, as far as the rules go, there's one 90% sticker in play. Three 40% stickers are in play. We did have a proof ender. It was a 1976. And we also had a 2010 Denver NIFC come out of the rolls. And that was, um, that is a, a low mintage year. <clears throat> over the, over the next couple of days, I am going to be, uh, getting everybody's packages together. That way, um, come Monday, I can get everything shipped out. And I'll be sending everybody their, uh, their uh, tracking numbers via text message. All right, let me look at uh, points for everybody. I want to see who is close to exchanging and all right so George Kimball you are 74 points away from being able to trade for a walking liberty Hunter must be over at second plot. <laughs> uh, Paul D, how you doing? Silver is eighteen dollars today. It is what? Dang, that means uh, you guys are gonna be like killing me. Seventeen eighty eight must have went down and come back up. Ooh. It's not bad, guys, not bad. Detecting North Carolina says row five, please. Guys, uh, if we can, give it up for a metal detecting with this $25 donation.
for what would you like for your free gift? And Edwin. Okay, so guys, check it out. Yesterday, <laughs> I didn't do any beans or any hot sauce. And no one said anything. So I just kept my mouth shut. <laughs> but today, <laughs> today, uh, yeah. Edwin, hot sauce or um, beans and metal detecting, hot sauce or beans? And what is your free gift? Edwin says none. All right. Woo! Go, Edwin! All right, metal detecting. Um, hot sauce or beans? And what would you like for your free gift? We have a sticker. We have a 40% sticker, guys. What's the PayPal? Uh, hold on, let me put the link up, guy. California PayPal. All right, the link is popping right up. Hunter flew the coop. All right, so 1966. That was the silver that came out of the box last night. Oh. And, uh, you know, it's hot sauce. Oh, man. And what would you like for your free gift? Uh, Brown Ike. Alrighty. Sauce number three. All righty. Cost me a pretty little penny to redo, we give everything. Okay, number three. Ooh, we haven't done any hot sauce in a long time, fellas and ladies. What was number three? Habanero. <laughs> oh boy. All right, here we go. are watering. Guys, um, we just received a $50 donation from Mr. Robert Johnson. He will be up right after. <laughs> That's what they make ice cream for. All right. Robert Johnson, you are up next. Let me know if you want me to do hot sauce or the bean boozles. Let me know what your free gift is going to be. Oh, 
and Robert, I wanted to let you know, because I don't know if you know this, it's 2006 P NIFC. Um, I was running reports from uh, PayPal and from October 2018 to October 2019, you were the number one donator for the entire 12 months. You were donator of the year. October 2018 to 2019. Wheatback Attack, hello, how are you? Uh, you're gonna let me off easy, huh? Seven, no, a twenty-seven, <laughs> a twenty-seventeen Denver. Larry, call me after the stream. All right. I don't think you're gonna like the name I'm gonna call you. I'm kidding. No. <laughs> Silver certificate. You guys, gonna be stealing my stuff. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we, we back attack isn't agitated. You know how like old people drive around with their blinker on? Well, <laughs> we pack. <laughs> we pack. He, uh, he surfs the internet with his cap locks on. Same thing. Snake Man, welcome. How are you, how are you doing? Say hi to Robert Johnson. We have a 2004 Philadelphia. <laughs> I make sure old people see me. <laughs> Detecting North Carolina. All right, I'm gonna have to set. No, I'm not gonna have to do that. 
trying to figure out what I'm going to do with your package. And I think once I put the bike in, we're going to have to upgrade you to this. Because you're stuck. You just, you're getting way too much stuff here. All right, so. Metal detecting, we got you. Nineteen eighty, eighty one, eighty two. Got you a blue Ike, and you just requested brown Ike. Put your coins in here. set. Alright. Robert Johnson. Alright. Let's start the giveaway for the silver certificate. Cool. As soon as the bot announces it, go ahead and type your exclamation point raffle. Larry, you don't have to do bean or hot sauce. Alrighty. Yeah, it won't be. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Alright, so, yeah, type your exclamation point raffle. Shane, welcome. How are you? Robert, I need to know what two rows you want and what would you like for your free gifts. take uh, a proof or mint set 1971 to 2006 a blue or brown Ike or you could take a spin of the silver wheel and this is what is on the silver wheel we have uh, Walker Benji there's three spots for 40% silver well, uh, half dollars or 90% uh, silver quarters. If you get a 40% a on the wheel, I do give you a complimentary spin because it's the least valued one. It gives you an opportunity to upgrade that silver. Okay, so blue eye and what else? Because you get two items. Okay. Edwin says I need a 1948 Benji. 1949 Benji, I'm sorry. Uh, 
there is no such thing as a 1964 peace dollar. Alright, so Blue Ike and what else? Uh, Robert Johnson, one more item. Yeah, $50 donation gets you two items. Because you got two rows. Two rows. Oh, and since we're over $100 now, we are adding a one ounce silver round to the jackpot giveaway. Let's see. We have Edmunds tickets. Put North Carolina's tickets in. Okay, two blue likes then. Alrighty. you get we have a 90% and no sticker no sticker is a dime a silver dime so for the dime we have so 1964 Denver and then you got this 90% sticker So 90%, 1964. All right. And guys, please, please give it up for Robert real quick, everybody. And the winner of the silver certificate is Snake Man. Good job, Snake Man. All right, guys. Having the rolls.
Roll. Larry, Snake Man said send it to me. I heard it. I heard it, Snake Man. <laughs> now see uh, CD Rogan if you were quick witted like me you would uh, you would tell uh, Snake Man I race you for it <laughs> uh, well, the coin act of 65 expressly forbid the coinage of any new silver dollars for the next five years. All examples of the 64 peace dollar were melted and none ever left the Denver Mint. Mm. So, uh, Mr. Snake Man, how is the leg? You still having your wife giving you your hourly uh, sponge baths with your happy endings? <laughs> hourly sponge baths with happy endings. That almost makes me want to break my leg. I've been trying to talk my wife into that for years. <laughs> But if you get hourly sponge baths with happy endings, that actually might be uh, might be worth it.
snake man. I think you were on to something. You're holding out. Snake Man was sitting in this man cave saying, hmm, what can I do to get hourly sponge baths with happy endings? I'll just step into this machine over here. something. We have a 2011. Is it a Philadelphia? No, it's a Denver. It's 2011 Denver NIFC. Still in negotiations. You know what, Robert? Happy wife equals happy life. All right, so let me uh, give you your points, Robert. I'm actually going to give you 75 points. For your rolls. So you got a 90% Kennedy, a 90% Dime, and out of the walls came the 2011 uh, Denver NIFC, and that will be put together with your two Blue Ikes. I do thank you, and I did put your coins in. 
We did add the silver, so we are good. Larry, do do I do I steal the coin books? No, I actually bought them, Hunter. Keep the NIFC. All right, where is your bag? You know what, Robert? We'll put it into the uh, the free giveaway. Uh, yes, Hunter, I still have the coin books. I was looking on eBay, and eBay are selling them for anywhere from 5 to $20, calling them vintage books. All right, Kayla's got to go. She's got to go to sleep.
CD Rogan, you gotta go to sleep too, buddy. Kayla Mallory, how you doing? Okay, what a shotgun roll is. Shotgun roll is where it's just crimped on one side, the other side is open. There's nothing in them. They're just uh, shotgun rolls. They're just the papers, they're crimped on one side. What you do is you take your coins and you put them into the uh, rolls. And then you uh, fold them over on them. I'll tell you what, I'll show you. John Francis got to go. All right. Uh, let's give away some free rolls real quick. And I will open up a roll a certain way to make it appear like it's a shotgun roll. In fact, I'll just go ahead and open it up right now. So, hit your uh, exclamation point raffle if you want a free roll. And let me set this up. I need my key. What coin books do I have left? Um, I have nickels, dimes, quarters, half dollars, and super early dollars, like barber, uh, barber dollars, or seated dollars, I don't know. But, uh, Nickels, dimes, quarters, and half dollars, Hunter. Uh, a roll of, of D what? Half dollars, Kayla? We have 14 seconds left, guys. Uh, 81, 81, hold on, let me see, let me see.
I, I know I have the information somewhere around here. Just got to find it. All right. Um, Gracie. That's some small writing. According to the gray sheet, 70 cents. This is the gray sheet, it's the coin dealer newsletter. But, um, Kayla. How, how many of them do you have? Oh, CD Rogan, you are like way, way late. Uh, I hooked you up, CD Rogan. Dude, type it again. Um, Kayla, how many rolls do you have? Four. Um, I would actually be willing to buy two of them for $2 a piece. Okay, so this, this is exactly what a shotgun roll looks like. It's crimped on one end and it's open on the other end. You could buy you could buy the rolls at like Dollar Tree, Walmart, anything like that. Uh, you know, places like that, any dollar store has them as well and uh, they're called shotgun rolls all right if you go to the bank and they have rolls like this that are shotgun rolls um, that people open up okay so I'm gonna show you you just put the coins back in stuff them down So if you go to the bank and you come across rolls that are like this, they're crimped on one side and folded like that on the other side, these are searched rolls. Someone went in, got a box of half dollars. They open them up on one end using a key or a screwdriver or something like that. They pull the coins out, 
go through them, they pull out anything that's of value, and then they put the coins back in the tubes, and they fold them over just like that, and they stack them in the box. Once they got the box all full, they take them to a different bank and drop them off. All right? You don't ever want to get a box that has this on it. You're wasting your money. There's nothing to be found. All right. So just so you know. All right. The first roll goes to... Jimmy and Jimmy no I haven't searched the roll I just opened it up used it as an example now we'll go actually go through the coins and see what was in here in there, Jimmy. Alright. Next roll goes to... Kayla! Kayla, Kayla! Maori. Kayla, we got a 2012 Philadelphia for you. NIFC. And next rule goes to. U.S. Silver Stacker. So there was nothing there. Uh, next roll goes to Edwin Vasquez. Robert Johnson.
Angela was the only one that got something out of the rolls. Four streams going on right now. Hmm. All righty. Fresh uh, PayPal. Make sure we are all caught up. And we are. So let me write a number down. Between one and thirty. This is for Robert Johnson's 2011 uh, Denver NIFC and the two wheat pennies. Uh, let me tell you what the years they are. We have uh, 1952S and the 19. 45. Alright, so. right, guys. So I'm going to write down a number between 1 and 30, which I did. Uh, guess as many times as you want. One guess per line. Keep your guesses random, no consecutive guesses. Uh, make sure you're on live chat, not top chat, and wait for me to type it in chat before you start guessing. So here we go, guys. 1 through 30. Go, go, go. Start guessing, guys. All right, stop. We have a winner. And I would have thought that Gav Zero would have won this one. Seeing how his favorite number seven, and seven is in his name. But for the win, it was Hunter. Hunter, congratulations. You got your two wheat cents and an NIFC. And I actually have a packet right here for you. Congratulations, Mr. Hunter. Right, right, Gav Zero. <laughs> All right, guys. So let's go ahead and do the jackpot giveaway in the jackpot. Uh, we have a one ounce silver round, Indian head buffalo round, and then we have the 1929S in BG condition. But I'll blame it on your sister. <laughs> All right. So, guys. The winner of 
about the jackpot giveaway is Robert. Congratulations, Robert. We're going to be adding a one ounce silver round and the 1927S in VG condition to your package. Congratulations, Robert. Edwin, can you believe that? Gav Zero over there blaming stuff on his sister. Congratulations, Robert. All right, guys. So, I want to thank everybody for uh, coming out today. Wonderful having you guys here. Uh, hold on a second. Let me... Where does Robert live? I know where Robert lives. Robert, I am going to go to the coin shop on Monday. So what I'm going to do is I am going to pick up um, a special bar just for you. I mean, well, special bar. What I've been doing with all the people that's been winning the jackpot giveaway, I've been getting um, state bars. So it's a, uh, okay, let me show you what one looks like. I have my California bar because I bought California for myself. So anyway, it's a bar that looks like this. It is 999 fine uh, .999 fine silver, a one ounce bar, but it has a 24 karat gold plating on it. This one just happens to be California. I do know that you live in the great state of Louisiana, so I will pick up a Louisiana state bar for you, and I will send that out to you. I'll replace it with uh, that other bar. All right. So, guys, I want to thank our donators for coming out tonight and donating. We have uh, Robert Johnson, North uh, Metal Detecting North Carolina, Edwin Vasquez. So, guys, thank you, thank you so much for your wonderful donations. You guys are what keeps this channel rolling steady. We'll be back tomorrow, 4 p.m. Pacific Time, 7 p.m. Uh, I'm talking about you, Robert. Mr. Robert Johnson. So, uh, you won the jackpot giveaway, which is, you know, I'll show you what it is. It's this round right here. However, my coin guy, he has state bars. What they are is uh, the different states in the United States. And there's one of each state. So because you live in um, Louisiana, I am going to pick up the Louisiana bar. It's .99 fine silver. Uh, it has a 24 karat gold plating on it. So um, when I go to the shop over the weekend, I'll pick up that bar and I'll swap it out uh, with... Uh, for this one here. Oh, you want the round instead? Okay. All right, then I won't have to do that then. I'll just leave the round in your package and uh, I'll send it out as is. Because I, I still have to pick up your, uh, your stuff. All right, so that's cool, that's cool. All right, so thank you guys. Thank everybody for coming out tonight. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow, 4 p.m. Pacific time, 
7 p.m. if you're on the East Coast. Uh, stay safe, guys. Lockdown is almost over. And uh, we'll be back to uh, wreaking havoc on the world once again. All right. Thanks, Jimmy. We love you, too. Cornworld UK fell asleep. All right. So, guys, thank you, everybody. Let's leave you with some parting music. Parting music will put Cornworld UK back to sleep. Good night, everybody. Coin World, go back to sleep. Zoe wants to cuddle with you. <laughs>